Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to destroy the Sicilian defense. And if many of you don't know, the Sicilian defense is probably one of the most, uh, I'd say, best defenses for black, and I actually play the Sicilian pretty much exclusively. Um, and I also throw in the French defense, but the Sicilian is so strong, and here's kind of how to beat the Sicilian defense, and the trick is to just be really aggressive early on, and just kind of, since um, the Sicilian defense is sort of passive in the beginning, you really just want to kind of step all over that and abuse it. So that's exactly what I do, and it starts off e4, uh, then it starts off, uh, then it goes, I'm sorry, c5, it's the Sicilian. I continue with knight to f3, d6, this is Sicilian. And then I play my pawn here. This is just all, um, if, if I'm going too fast, um, sorry, this is just pretty much how the Sicilian is set up. So now he decides to do the dragon. Now, for those who don't know, the other one is to um, bring her pawn up here, which I think is actually Black's one of better choices. But whenever you see something like this in the dragon variation, the best thing to me is just to be as aggressive as you can and it actually sets up a pretty cool trap. So right now he has to if he uh Fium Keto's bishop right now, uh his black bishop, then it would be pretty much game over for him. So he needs to bring his knight up to defend this attack. Instead he does this again, pointless move. However, it does kind of avoid a checkmate later on. So uh, maybe it is okay. And maybe it's also fr uh, freeing room for his bishop. That's probably what he's thinking. But anyway, then you do this. Now there's, it looks kind of like, oh, it's easily blocked. But let's see if it really is easily blocked. He decides to do this. And, you know, you always kind of want to exchange uh, bishops in the Sicilian defense if, if you're playing for black. You know, you always want to get rid of the white bishop since that's pretty much the biggest threat you have early on in the game and even later on in the game so you always want to at least be able to trade off for that but I decided to go with this and this is a very aggressive move and he needs to be extremely careful um, now I go ahead and take um, or he goes take and I take back and now as you can see I'm threatening his knight so his knight kinda has to move it, I suppose it doesn't have to but then it's really going to tear apart his his queen side. So he moves. But um, like I said, it's not over. I decide to move my knight. Um, attacking this new newly found fort. And also setting up a deadly trap. Notice how the file for my queen is completely open. You know, he... If you were, if these pieces were to somehow go away, and there was a king right here, you know, you can just forget it. It's game over. So keep that in mind. So he decides to take. He would gladly want to do. I would hope that you know this is probably the best move. So then I take back. He decides uh, to finally do this, this bishop because he knows I'm just going to go in that fort. And if he were to, uh, like let's say he didn't do that, and I went to this fort, if he tried to take back with his knight I would just come in with my queen and it would be really it would be really hard for him to play after that. So now I decide to attack his queen to kinda get his queen out of the way so I can uh don't have to worry about anything. So he moves his queen, attacking my knight. And then I just simply move up here, put checking the king, making him move. Now if um now the next move is the reason why the Sicilian just gets completely obliterated by this uh, variation because once you do this it's pretty much game over and it's checking the king if he were to take back with his um, his bishop then I would take back with my bishop or even better I'd probably take back um, yeah, yeah I'd take back with my bishop and then he has to move he cannot attack me if he tries to attack me with this uh, this knight after my bishop comes here, after his bishop comes here, then I can just move my knight and it'll all win the queen. So he needs to be careful. Unfortunately, he just doesn't see this, and this is what happens. And as you can see, to discover a check along the queen's open file, and now I'm going to win the queen. He kind he resigned right now, but if you were to go back, um, let's say he were to take with this, 
then I would take with this. Then he would have to move his king or his um his rook. Maybe he would move his rook. Um, <laughs> yeah. See, you know, I'll only see all the spots he can he can't. He can only move in these two spots right here. So he, as you can see, these are not really good spots. And he wants to be careful as well because if he moves here, that's creating a fork. Um, so he's probably his best move would be right here. And then I would just simply um. You know, from here it's pretty much game over. I don't want to spend all this time playing out the game but as you can see the game is really you know really putting black in a corner here and you know none of these pieces are developed all my pieces are about to be developed I can easily castle on the queen side and put even more pressure so anyway that was the game I just played and I uh, hope someone enjoyed it alright bye bye